Hello, tech enthusiasts. I'm Anna Gondrabura, your English and effective communication coach. But today, I'm also your grammar teacher. So let's zoom into the tenses that every tech professional should learn first. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss another English lesson that is going to come out tomorrow. I have a question. Did you know that 80% of conversations in English are done using simple tenses like present simple and past simple? Yes, it is true. And it means that you need to master simple tenses first so that you stop making those silly mistakes when uh, you write or speak in English. Then 20% of your conversations will be done using more tricky tenses. But don't worry about this because I will teach you how to use these tricky tenses correctly and properly. Let's start with the simple tenses first and the present simple tense, right? So this tense is your go-to tense when you want to talk about habits and facts. And in tech, because this is why we're here, we are learning grammar for tech, right? In tech, it's perfect for describing some regular processes or states. For example, the system sends a notification for every new update. This simple example outlines a habitual action within a software's uh, functionality. Let's talk about past simple now. Past simple tense is used for completed actions in the past. And uh, it is crucial for tech professionals when they need to talk about projects or past events, especially in a job interview when you, talk, when you need to talk about your past projects. For example, you can say, we launched the latest version last month. Now, the key thing to remember about past simple is that you always use past simple when you say when something happened. Just like in my example, when I said that we launched the latest version last month, because I said last month, I have to say past simple tense. If I don't say last month, then I have to say present perfect. One in the same sentence with last month and without last month is going to sound differently in English. So with last month, I'm going to say we launched. Without last month, I can say we have launched the latest version. Last month is a marker is a special phrase that is always used in the past simple tense. There are other phrases too, like ago, five years ago, last month, last year, or any other phrase that answers the question when, then your sentence is going to be used in the past simple tense. Oh, and one more thing, when asking questions and your question starts with when, and you talk about the past, it's always, always past simple too. When did you do something? You can never say, when have you done something? No, this is wrong. When did you launch uh, the latest version? The present perfect tense, which I mentioned briefly, connects the past with the present, and it is used to talk about experiences and changes over time. For example, we have implemented several updates since the launch. Now, since, right? It shows progress or changes that are relevant now. Just like past simple, present perfect also has its marker words ever, never, just, already, yet, for, and since. If you have one of these words in a sentence, be sure to use present perfect. For example, I have already done this. Have you done this yet? I have never done this before, and so on. Next up, the present continuous tense. Now, this tense is all about actions happening right now. In the tech world, it's uh, ideal for describing current projects or your current tasks, especially in stand-up meetings, you know, when they ask you this question, what are you currently working on? And this is when you say, we are developing a new feature for the app. Now. When you say we are developing a new feature for the app, it indicates ongoing work, something that is still in progress. Moving on to another continuous tense. Now this time it's past continuous. This one is great for describing an ongoing action 
in the past that was interrupted, right? So, for example, the team was reviewing the code when the system crashed, right? So was reviewing the action in progress when the system crashed, interrupted. It interrupted the action in progress. Now, it talks about something that happened unexpectedly. When using continuous tenses, pretty much any, well, pretty much any continuous tense, present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, or present perfect continuous, remember about verbs that are never used in continuous forms. These are the verbs that express desires, states, feelings. We never say I am needing, we say I need. Uh, we don't say I am understanding, we say I understand. You can find a list of verbs that are not used in the continuous form in the description to this video. The present perfect continuous tense now. Now this tense is for actions that started in the past and they are still continuing now or just finished. It's very useful for emphasizing duration, like when you say for some time. For example, our team has been working on this project for four over six months. The marker here is for. When you say for some time, for example, how long have you been working as a software engineer? I have been working as a software engineer for six years. So every time you say for and you started something in the past and you still, you're still doing it, use the present perfect continuous tense. Now let's talk about future. Future simple and going to are both about the future, but they are used differently. Now we use will for decisions that are made at the moment of speaking. We use going to for plans. For example, we will troubleshoot this issue by tomorrow versus we are going to launch a better version next quarter. Now, one is about decision made at the moment of speaking, and another one is about plans for the next quarter. When you master those grammar tenses, you will not only boost your confidence, but you will also improve your professional interactions. And remember, practice makes perfect. That's why if you want to practice grammar for tech, you can enroll in one of the English for Tech courses because we teach grammar in every course we have created, we have designed. If you found this video useful and if you want to get more, make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn the notification on not to miss the next video.